Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Now the most notable features on this TRD Sport is its heated front seats. You have your backup camera along with your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you a bit of familiar with this 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD Sport is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look you have your hood scoop along with your hood deflector and down below you'll see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your dark gray cloth into your seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support. Over on your left hand side you're going to see your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seat function, volume control, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. And if we just take a look just at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here. <coughs> now taking a look through here, you have your digital speedometer as well as a distance to empty. But you can also go through and take a look at your navigation as well as your audio, messages, and your settings menu just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Now at the very top of the screen you have an exterior temperature gauge. Taking a look now just at your center dash as well as your touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on here. You have your split screen view with your digital clock as well as your audio and your navigation. Inside the apps menu you'll see your navigation, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You do have the XM satellite radio on here, hazard lights, 4x4 select, heated mirrors, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it, dual zone climb control settings, USB and auxiliary input with your power outlet matted to a manual transmission. And if we take a look just at the top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you'll also find your traction control on off with your sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper you're going to see your connectors for your towing as well as your spare tire located underneath. On the back of the tailgate you have the backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. Now closing in on the rear cargo bed as you can see you do have that rear cargo power outlet just over on your right hand side which is nice because if you ever have the camera on the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools you can do so or if you'd like you plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. You have some storage space on your right and left hand side along with the bed rail system. So with the bed rail system you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side place them all on one side of the bed rail system or take them out all together just depending on what your needs are for. Now over on your left, right, front and back side you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.